this video, while we started alloys before, we're going to actually start talking about metallic solids. Metallic solids are the result of a metallic bonding, which is a rather odd type of bond. Metals typically lack the valence electrons to actually form full octets when they bond together. They normally have like two valence electrons. We're trying to get eight. Two plus two is not eight. So their electrons are, instead of actually really trying to form pairs of bonds, you end up having a group of metals and they really share their electrons collectively. Basically, the electrons are available to everyone and not really just to any one particular atom or pairs of atoms. These electrons are referred to as being delocalized. And they're free to move in and throughout the various metal atoms, which are now actually cations, thus forming the metallic bonds. So you've got electrons going in between, you know, a group of cations instead of just between one or two cations thus forming this rather strange metallic bond. So, the most common model to explain this is the electron C model. I'm going to show you that. This is the electron C model. Basically, cations surrounded by the little yellow dots or electrons. Notice the, the electrons aren't really associated with any one ion. They're just kind of floating and moving. And in fact, actually, they can kind of move you know, in and around things and kind of around the compound. Typically, you actually end up sort of describing this model. You end up seeing this little, like, vague cloud thing around it to show that electrons are just moving in and throughout all these different cations. That's the electron C model. The electrons are not able to leave the solid due to the electrostatic attraction to the cations. But they are uniformly distributed throughout and are mobile. And so no individual electron is actually confined to any individual ion. They're basically, it's kind of like all for one and not really one for all. Just kind of all for, actually it's more like one for all, not all for one. Sorry. Uh, you, hopefully you get the point. That type of bond, though, allows for great conducting of electric current because, and heat. Because electrons can just move around. They can just move through them. There's nothing really in their way. This type of solid also is typically malleable and ductile. The metal atoms can completely move. They're vaguely attracted to each other. They're not really held in place by a bond. So they can just bend around and move and just redistribute the electrons. And they're good to go. So those are metallic solids. Please make sure you can draw the electron C model as that's a pretty good idea of also what a metallic um, solid looks like. Thanks for watching.